I'm Natalie. I'm Tara. And this is Natalie and Tara Try Stuff, a show in which we try stuff for the very first time. And today we're going to do paintings with wine. Like the stuff you drink, not my complaining. I'll probably wine as well. <laughs> Our super subscriber, David Faith, has stumbled upon this artist, Melissa Proudluck, who does Painted with Wine, paintedwithwine.com. Um, she paints pictures with wine, but she also has kits that you can follow along with. She sends you all the things you need. And he sent us one, which I'm very excited to try yeah. out. It's Art day. Do an unboxing here. Let's do it. This is all the things we need. It's got cups, paint brushes, your pigment in there. Ooh. These are original Ooh, artwork. Pretty. Very pretty. <gasps> wow. Mm -hmm. That owl is amazing. And welcome to your at-home wine painting class. Visit the following website to link to the tutorial. Okay. 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 How to prepare your paints. Ooh, okay. And then what's this? That's fun. What is that? When mixing the wine sediment. Okay, Ooh. keep in mind that it's only that it is only to darken, thicken your wine or juice that you will be painting with. This image shows the various results when mixed with dried wine. So like the different, you get different shades that's if you mix cool. it with different, yeah. which makes sense. Yeah, that's very cool. This is what we're gonna be, we're, we're painting, painting these fern? ferns. Yeah. That's beautiful, I love ferns. Step one, to prepare your paints. For best results, create your, your wine paints with the night before. We already didn't do that. Okay, or a few hours before. We're gonna we do, that. do that. Okay. Pour the dried wine into the provided plastic containers. Plastic containers. Okay. Uh, pour a small amount of wine into the containers. Might be a good idea to do this over the sink. We won't. Good ideas. <laughs> uh, add a small amount of wine to the dried wine and continue adding until you have a fairly thick consistency. You might have to add more wine to the mix just before you start to paint. Pour yourself a glass of wine while you sit back and relax. I love it. Love it. I love it. This like takes uh, paint and sip. To like a whole new level. <laughs> yep. Merlot is our color. Merlot, but I got a Pinot. I got a Pinot. I got this uh, Pence Great Winery. Mm, oh, oh, pretty. I, I got, um, since I am uh, sober, I got light and bright non alcoholic Pinot Noir. It's a Stanley Farmed in Monterey. Hmm. I'm double checking to make sure this is non alcoholic. Nope, this has alcohol in it. <laughs> How did that? Oh no. How did you get. No, I must have grabbed this on accident. Shh. We can solve this. Okay, how can we solve this? I don't know. No mistakes allowed at this point. Uh, we've, we're full up on stakes. Mistakes. Dang it. Gradually add the wine in small amounts, adding more until your consistency is like the video provided. Allowing your paint to sit will give the dried wine time to absorb. And then mixy, mixy, mixy. Aha! Here we go. There and that's go. like a paint consistency now. Yeah. I mean, it's clumpy. That's why you have to let it sit yep. so that those... So that the sediment wakes up. Yes and yes. Okay. So, we need to put water in one. Okay. And probably more wine in the other one. Uh huh, uh huh. Wine. And All right. Then. And then. And then we have to let this sit. sit. For, we're gonna let it sit for two hours. Two hours. Sounds good. All right. So we'll see you guys in two hours. Mm. Okay, we're back. We let our whatever do its whatever. <laughs> we've been editing for two hours. <laughs> we're cranky because we've been editing for I two hours. I need this glass of wine oh now. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, let's let's paint. All right, we don't get to just paint. We don't just do paint willy nilly. We have to watch our instructions. Okay, video. instructions. Okay. Before you start painting. Oh my god. <laughs> take out a test sheet of art paper and create two swatches of your wine. Ooh. One is just wine. Okay, I'm gonna take a swatchy swatch here. I'm gonna... One is just my wine. Mm-hmm. Oh. And nothing. See, it's nothing. So, light. so light. Come in here with this other one. Oh wow, you can actually see that. Ooh, that's so pretty. Ooh. Now wow. see the colors are gonna be so different because we're using different yeah. even from wine to wine, it would be yeah, different. Yeah, even wine to wine it would be very different. See how yeah. dark mine is. Yeah, yours is beautiful. Okay. Okay, hold on. So I need cool. to drink a little bit. Yeah, I need a little a sippy sip. Next, try the two techniques below to familiarize yourself with wine and the making of swirl patterns. So watch watch this one. Oh. Wet on dry. Wine directly into the paper that allows you to achieve. Isn't that what we just did? Yep, that is wet on dry. 
Wet on, wet on dry. Yeah. That's very fresh. Okay, and now, what's the mm. other technique? The other is wet on wet. So I'm putting some water and down. just put some the paint in there. Uh-huh, and then I'm gonna take some paint. Yeah, and paint some paint. Wine. Paint or wine, a but mix. I would do paint. That's what I did. And that's what wet on wet is. And take so now, my mix, and I'm gonna drop it into the center of this. And then you Ooh. try to control it in the water, and like that's what can give you. I can't control that. I mean, you don't. That's you can't control water. That's her thing. Okay, okay. Let's start painting. Yay! Fine paint. Do the same steps as on the test sheet. First, fill in the three or four leaves of water. This is the way the water doesn't dry up before you add the wine. Next, you will use the wine, not the wine mix, to add. Okay. Add to the inner edges of each leaf and gently spread it across the outer edges. Okay, so we're gonna fill in a couple leaves okay. with just water, and then we're okay. gonna come back with wine and give it some color. Four, four leaves, and now I come to the wine, uh huh, mm -hmm. and I touch it on the center, and watch it spread. It's so pretty. You can't see any of this because it's so, so lightly light. colored. You add it to the oh. inner edge of each leaf and gently spread. Oh, spread it to the outer edge. Yeah. I didn't have to. Mine, Yours mine just kind of went. Yours yeah. went for it. I put a lot of water because I wanted yeah. it to spread. Yeah, I make a just wine as this my is never base because it's so light. <laughs> that's never going to dry. We're in California. It's going to dry. <laughs> so wait, do I? That's a puddle. Okay, now what? You will continue this process until you've painted each, each leaf. leaf. Take your time, enjoy the glass or two for, okay. Oh, okay, all right, all right. let's paint our We're leaves. We're gonna go, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna come in here with some water. I love the idea of this being, instead of just like your basic, drinking with your gals and painting, like actually painting with the substance that you're drinking, which mm -hmm. I just think is really fun. I am gonna say this wine, this non-alcoholic wine, this dealkalized wine, this 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 alcohol removed wine yeah. is how really they, good. How do they do that? So many freaking leaves. Oh, did you see the video I sent you this morning? No. Of the anti Bob Ross? No, I did not. He is, he's making an abstract painting. Okay. And he is like, these are sorrow stripes. But he's like, we're gonna make rage, stri rage yells now or whatever. And he says they're very similar in color. And so it's like this abstract of all these yellow and then like uh -huh. off yellow. And he says, we're gonna do rage ones. And so as he paints them, he's like, ah! <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and he's like, let's try another one right here. Ah! And I was just like, oh my God, I am in I'm love. In. I'm I want to do it. that. My first row is still not dry. Get out the hair dryer. We're, like, we're not gonna be able to move on <laughs> ever because this is not gonna dry. For the next part, you're going to use the wine mixture that you created using the dry wine that was included. Follow along the bottom of each leaf. This will create shadow. Mm -hmm. But this is dry. <laughs> I don't know how this. I don't know how there's so much liquid in this leaf. Yeah. Like, how did I get that much liquid in? <laughs> Like what did I, did I, did it take a bath? I'm just going on the bottoms of them? Yeah, the bottoms, so you're creating a shadow effect. Right. I don't know, how is that still not dry? I'm already unhappy with this one. This is always bothers me when like I'm learning to do a thing, a painting or something, it's because mm -hmm. like, really like when we did embroidery, like it was like the first half of it I hated, and then I was like, oh I got the hang of this. And so like half of my piece of art I hate. Uh -huh. And then the oh, other half I'm like, yeah. oh, that's how it's supposed to look. I finally got the hang of it, but the yeah. first half of it looks like trash. Okay. I do like the color it dries too. Yeah, me too. Color is really pretty. Using a bit of water on your brush, blend the darker area into the lighter area. Oh, I went into my whole leaf though. That's okay, it'll be fine. Oh, and you were supposed to do one section at a time. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Roger. Yeah, yeah, it all makes sense now but I didn't, didn't, didn't read the, all the instructions first. Well, sometimes it's a little hard to tell just with any instructions, like where I'm, when am I moving on to the next step? I mean, that's it still okay. works. Yeah, it's gonna be okay, because that's the good thing about watercolors, you can always go back and like we wake up the color. Well, you think, but we're dealing with wine. I don't understand this medium. <laughs> it's a new medium to me. There, 
I like blend, that. Blend. Now that I've blended it out, the hard line makes sense. I wonder if she was like watching this and just like going, oh my God, don't go all the way. Okay, no, all right, okay, we'll be okay. Well, well you'll be ladies, you'll be fine. You'll figure <laughs> it out. You're gonna get there. I knew it. I knew it was at that point in the project where like, yeah, I don't like it. It looks terrible, but we've been here before. We've done this so many times where the project looks terrible right now. And you can't see the forest for the trees. Or the Literally. Fern. Or the fern. I actually think this is like it being one color. Really? Actually, it's yeah. very soothing. Like we're not complicating things. We're not like making this some big ordeal. It's just one shade. Next, I'll make a wine stain. Oh, yeah. This was included. Now, slowly lift up the dish. Oh. Oh, and splatter. I like splattering. Yeah, I don't think I will be putting splatters on. However, I do feel like I am going to continue to paint a little bit. I don't think it's done. Okay, so we have to make our little wine. Okay. Kind of so this is a little circle, one of our circle circles. And you take your circular circle. Okay. Put it down overlapping on your thing, and then just go around it. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna see what it looks like. Yeah, I'm going for it. Nope. Oh, not so careful. Set it down a second time. Oh, I like the spill that it made though. Those little extra dots, that's fun. Now what you're supposed to do mm -hmm. is there's a, you have to let it dry obviously. Okay. And then there's a sealant spray because this will oxidate and stuff like that. Right, like, okay. Like you're supposed to seal it with a, archival spray okay and then you're supposed to uh frame it immediately because it will start to the color will continue oh, to okay. change over time okay i like your little wine circle oh i hate everything about mine oh i like but it that's fine yeah here's mine <laughs> here's mine yeah i i'm i'm still very determined that watercolor is not my medium <laughs> and we've done you know wine color is not my medium either <laughs> <laughs> This is what the third watercolor I've ever done in my life. Yeah. So, so not, yes. Yeah. Definitely not a fair yeah, assessment. You're, you're still you're still you're still getting the handle on the medium. I don't understand it. I just do not under, like I don't understand how to make the color any different color. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like like these are all really dark and then uh -huh. these ones have a strong line in them still and I don't understand. <laughs> it's possible I never went back through that section. I don't know. I do think this is a really cute girls night in idea. I do love the idea of painting with the mm -hmm. wine. That's so fun and unique. I think this is well, well worth the thing. And again, it being one color makes it really easy to chit chat oh, yeah. and like do this and chit chat. Cause sometimes like you, d you pick something too complicated for your girls night and like you just, I don't know, you either you focus on the thing or you do the thing. This is very simple. Mm -hmm. I like it. I dig it. Very and, good. And it doesn't hurt that you can drink your medium. Exactly. And that way you don't have to worry about dipping your you brush in your glass. All right, David and Faith, thank you so much for finding this and sending it to us. This is a great, this is a great find. You did a good job. Well done, sir. Mm -hmm. Melissa, I'm going to leave the wine art painting to you. <laughs> uh, I don't know that I'll be picking this up as my next medium. I'm going to stick to carving spoons. Hers are beautiful. That is, that is your, what is your medium? Hers are beautiful. Go and check her out on Instagram and all the, the websites and all the places and go, 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 go grab one for yourself. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm Tara. I'm Natalie. This this is Nelly and Tara. Try stuff. Don't forget to hit the bell because we go live once a week, but it's a secret thing. So if you don't hit the bell, you won't know. The end. <laughs>